Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. Uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Don't feel shy, feel free to drop a link to anything that you want me to react to, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse, and feel free to interact with us, send us a message. We'll be more than glad to respond. So today I'm going to be reacting to Alla Cried Funny Story but by Amid to that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Robin Island, something like that. So he says, man, leave it out. But now since they started learning our language and challenging us in our mother tongue, the Muslims were forced to accept the challenge. And Maulana Abdul Aziz of Delhi, this is I'm reading in the book which made everything interesting to me, which brought me here. That Maulana Abdul Aziz of Delhi, he was forced to accept the challenge. It was a certain reverend founder who was the head of that movement, missionary movement. And according to the appointed time and date, the debate started. The reverend started the debate with requesting the Maulana. Maulana means our sheikh or imam in our language, you see in the language of the Indian Muslim. He said, Maulana Sahib, telling him in Urdu, Sir, respected Maulana, get started. Start the ball rolling. So the Maulana said, you see, look, you are our elder brother. In other words, Christianity precedes Islam by 600 years. So you are 600 years senior to us. So as such, you have the first preference. Number two, he said, look, you are our guest. No doubt an unwelcome guest, but a guest at that. So as such, again, you have the first preference. So the reverend was forced to start the debate, and he started with a question. This is Maulana Sahib, speaking in Urdu. Maulana Sahib, where is your Prophet Muhammad now? So the Maulana, after a pause, he replied that he is in Jannatul Firdaus in heaven, blessed heaven, with God Almighty. Out of that answer came the second question. I said, all right, all right. Tell me now, where was he when his grandson Hussein was martyred at Karbala? So the Maulana again thought for a moment, and he again replied, he was still in Jannatul Firdaus, in blessed heaven, with God Almighty. Out of that answer came the third question. I'm reading this in the book. He said, all right, now Maulana Sahib, look, if, you, as if your Muhammad was with his Allah, as you say, and while his grandson was being butchered, Shaheed, at Karbala, didn't he ask his Allah for help? He said, look, my grandson is being butchered, please. Have mercy on him, save him. So there was a long pause. And the reverend couldn't hold his peace. He started stamping his feet. Come on, come on. Did you, didn't he? Didn't he ask his Allah for help? Because if somebody is bullying me, and if I have a young heavyweight champion next to me, I say, look, man, Akhi, please, man. you know, <laughs> help me, save me. So didn't he ask his Allah for help? So after a long pause, the Maulana said, yes, he did. He did. So what did he say? We know he wasn't saved. What did Allah say? And there was an inordinate pause, undue pause. So the reverend again started stamping, come on, come on, what did he say? So the Maulana said, Allah cried, he cried. So what? Allah cried? He said, yes, he said, I couldn't save my own son, Jesus. How can I save your grandson? <laughs> And the debate was over. I hope the chairman doesn't take exception to your laughter. Look, we are. I'm sure I've been among those people that got the chance to actually sit through Amin Didat's lectures or speakings was quite amazing or extraordinary. Um, very, very interesting, quite funny. I mean, <laughs> this was very, very funny. I'm sure the other person debating was not expecting 
this and what a way to shut someone up otherwise um and certain things god allows certain things to happen in our lives sometimes i believe or I'd love to believe that those experiences are to make us grow and learn something from those so that maybe we may do something different in life let me know what you guys actually think about these what are your thoughts on god allowing both jesus and um the other person dying um, Hamad's uh, grandson dying uh, so yeah let me know make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video